Good everyone, my name is Kaden Mazoke and welcome again. Uh, I'm the author and publisher of the Distinction Bound Student Textbooks. Here they are. You have them in economics and uh, business studies. Okay, in this particular video, I'm going to talk about market failure. And uh, in simple words, market failure is failure of markets to allocate resources at an optimum level. So what it means is uh, whenever resources are either undersupplied or oversupplied, we call it market failure. So there is an optimum level of resource allocation. And if that level is not achieved, uh, maybe it's you achieve this instead of this, it's market failure. You have this instead of this, it's market failure. And this means oversupply. So there is a tendency of markets to oversupply certain resources. And there's a tendency of markets to undersupply certain resources. And uh, this normally happens and depending on the type of resource demerit goods like alcohol cigarettes and so on markets tend to oversupply them merit goods markets tend to uh, undersupply them so for that there is um what we call state intervention so we're going to talk about that now for you to understand market failure first you need to under understand efficiency or inefficiency and uh, here we need you to understand number one productive or technical efficiency and number two you need to uh, understand allocative efficiency or inefficiency now for you to understand this you might need to revisit grade 10 where we introduce to you the production possibility curve otherwise known as the production possibility frontier now is so the ability of um, markets to allocate resources on the ppc we say they are productively efficient. Efficient, In other words, it is when uh, a market is able to utilize the resources um, uh, in a way that, um, I can say what, in a way that is not, if I say desired, now it's allocative efficiency. Uh, given a set of resources, your ability to produce the maximum output possible yes i can put it that way so that's the ability to produce on the ppc and then uh, allocative efficiency that's uh, and the ability of markets to allocate resources in a way desired uh, by consumers or an optimum mix of resources uh, that is in a, in other words the ability to produce along the indifference curve okay then from there we need to know what causes that thing called market failure but before I go to the cause, here's an example I use, I, I normally give when I'm talking to learners. Now, let's assume, okay, you, you, you like coffee and let's assume, okay, I'll talk about myself. Um, I like three teaspoons of sugar in my coffee. A normal cup, I don't have a cup of coffee here. A normal cup, I need three teaspoons of sugar. So if someone puts five, uh, I find it to be too sweet. If someone puts one, it's not sweet enough or it's bitter. So I won't like the coffee. But if you put three teaspoons, I'm going to enjoy that cup of coffee because there is an optimum mix of resources. In this case, it's water, it's milk, it's the coffee itself and it's sugar. So when you mix those properly, I'm going to enjoy my coffee, right? So if you put too much coffee and too much sugar, I may not enjoy it. So basically, with markets, whenever there is an oversupply of resources, we call it market failure. Whenever there is an undersupply of resources, we call it market failure. So with undersupply, government chips in to bring up consumption. Uh, they do it in so many ways. Subsidies are an example. Um, and then with uh, oversupply, government also intervenes they can charge sin tax like in case of alcohol to bring down consumption and other methods like uh setting is it a minimum or maximum price let me think properly it will be maximum prices so they can set this is the maximum no no maximum prices will work for a merit good so they will set minimum prices for let's say alcohol and say you are not allowed to sell at any price lower than this it must be expensive it must be high that can bring down consumption we'll talk about that in more depth now what causes market failure why is it that uh, uh you know markets can oversupply or undersupply well we have a couple of reasons and i've condensed it into a word that word is mealy so it's m-i-e-l-double-i -I. so the m there is missing markets 
The I is imperfect markets. The E is externalities. The L is lack of information. The I is imperfect distribution of income and wealth. And the I is immobility of factors of production. So these are the six causes of market failure. So each one can be uh, dealt with in depth, uh, but I'm not going to do it right now. Then the other side is uh, we also have um, in this same topic, we also talk about state intervention as a consequence of market failure. I'm going to just touch on the graphs that you are expected to be able to draw. Number one, you should be able to draw minimum prices, minimum wages, maximum prices, positive externality, negative externality. Those, then the last part of this topic uh, you need to you learn about cost benefit analysis now CBA so it's basically what government mostly uses and also businesses um, it is when they um, what it's when they do an analysis between costs and benefits basically it's self-explanatory right uh, it's it's when uh, costs outweigh benefits then we say the project is not feasible and when benefits outweigh costs, then this project is worth looking into. So basically, that's how they come up with these big projects. They do a CBA, cost-benefit analysis. Thank you so much. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, uh, follow me on TikTok. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, thank you. I really appreciate all the videos uh, that you have been watching. Thank you so much. God bless.